Good morning. Apparently last night I parked right next to a school, which I didn't know, because um, they offer free parking on non-school days. What I didn't know is that they were going to be doing soccer practices right next to my bed first thing in the morning. It's just kind of one of those things you just got to give up, especially when you're city camping. Just give up on like sleeping in because like, people wake up really early. There's always somebody and they make a lot of noise. And unless you're the kind of person who can sleep through like a crazy noise, you're just not going to sleep in. Plus, my blinds don't do all that much to keep the light out, so. Anyway, there's a churro, chorizo, chorizo? Mexican food breakfast place next door. So, definitely gonna go grab some before I leave because today we go back to Canada. What's that? Okay, apparently churros, churros. Apparently those are desserts, <laughs> which I wanna try at some point, but not for breakfast. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the van. I've got some uh, leftovers. I'm gonna heat up in the pan and yeah. So as you probably guessed, I uh, spent the night in Toronto. This is a this is another day. Yeah. So this uh we we we're back in Kempville. Um, as I mentioned before, Kempville is my hometown. I feign to be worldly and educated and all these other things. I am actually a dirty, dirty, smelly hick from Kempville. Yeah. Um, and Kempville is known for a few things. Not many of them good, but in this case. Dairy Barn is like probably the best thing Kempel has. And we are gonna go get some ice cream. <laughs> Can I get uh, two small cones? Uh, I'm gonna go for the chocolate peanut butter cup, please. And who are gonna go for? Rolo. Six dollars right here. Thanks. Enjoy your small cone. Jesus, eh? That's what I'm saying, you never need a bigger one than small. This was six dollars, oh, Simon. I don't know, I'm losing some already. Mm -hmm. It's good, it's cheap, and it's way too big. I like them. Country ice cream. One time when I was a kid, in a corner store up the street from my house, on the top of the hill, they sold ice cream, and Stacy paid for the ice cream. And then we were leaving, and we were running across the street chasing some like cat or something. I dropped my ice cream. Like it all, all of it fell off the cone. This is basically like the saddest story of your life. And we went back in with just the empty cone. <laughs> Can I have some more? <laughs> <laughs> I <was> crying. <laughs> and wow. I asked for more ice cream, and they only had pineapple left. <laughs> it's a true story. I, I don't believe that last part. No, the only thing you're allergic to, Stacey. really? Disclaimer, Ashley is very allergic to pineapple. God.
He's got little eyes. I was expecting his eyes. <laughs> one of us, one of us. He's just a wee little guy like you. Yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> okay, say goodbye to your friend. Let's go. We're fishing at the last spot, so we're gonna walk over a little bit closer to downtown Kempville. And uh, we got a dock down here. We're just gonna chill out by the water for a few. Before we head back to Ottawa. Life is waiting. You just have to forgive yourself. Just learn to love yourself again. Thank you. 